Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Rex Team, and in this video, I'll show you how you can generate a product feed uh, using your WooCommerce product for Heureka. So let's get started. Heureka is one of the largest marketplaces in Czech Republic and Slovakia, uh, where most WooCommerce stores actually promote their products so that they can get quick traction, right? They have a huge regular audience and they have a huge pool of different types of products that are promoted there, which means any type of WooCommerce stores can pro promote your products there. So if you own a WooCommerce store in Czech Republic or Slovakia, then it's highly advised that you also promote your products through Heureka, all right? So in this guide, I'm gonna show you how you can generate a product feed for Heureka that you can use to upload your WooCommerce products to the Heureka marketplace once you sign up as a merchant with them. All right, so let's begin. Now I'm gonna use our plugin product feed manager for WooCommerce to generate the feed. All right, now, and before I show you how you can use the plugin to generate the feed real quick, let me just quickly go over the mandatory product attributes that you need to include for all of your products when generating a Heureka product feed. So what you're looking at is basically a list of all the mandatory attributes that you need to submit uh, for all of your products when you submit your product to Heureka. Now, let me just explain uh, all of this real quick. Now, the item ID is basically a unique product ID for your products. Uh, the product name is basically the name of your product or the title of your product. Now, Heureka is very specific about how you submit your product title. They tell you that you need to submit the name of your product plus some notable features of the product such as the color or the size. Now these things matter depending on different products. Different products in different categories are suggested to have different types of titles and features added to them. So here is a list uh, that you can look at uh, to see the format uh, of the titles that Heureka asks you to follow when generating the feed. So uh, I'm going to include a link to this guide in the description below. So here you can come over here and under product name, you can view this guide to see how the name structure should be depending on what category your product is at. All right. Um, next comes the description. Uh, try not to include any HTML tags in the description. All right. Because uh, they'll be removed anyways. So just uh, generate a feed uh, with your normal text. Okay. Uh, and also make it a real description of the product. Uh, Heureka doesn't entertain uh, fake explanations of the product or too much advertising in the description. Uh, next comes is the product URL. You just give the URL of the product. Uh, then it's the image URL. You need to submit at least one image, uh, which you can submit using this attribute. Then comes price with VAT. So you need to submit the price of the product with the tax or the VAT or any extra charges you have. So this is basically gonna be the total price a person will be paying when purchasing the product, right? And do not include any currency to the price. They have the default currency depending on where you are selling, okay? Uh, then comes the manufacturer. If you are the manufacturer, you can assign your name over here. But if you're selling different types of products with different brand name, then you need to submit uh, the right brand name for that product, okay? Uh, then comes is the category text. Uh, Heureka has their own set of category lists uh, which you need to submit for each of your products. But don't worry, you don't need to make changes to your store's categories to achieve this. Uh, using our plugin, you can use a category mapping feature where you can list the Heureka categories as per your WooCommerce store categories, all right? Uh, now, you can find the whole category list of Heureka over here. So again, I'll give you a link to a description below uh, for this guide and you can come here and collect this category list to set up the category mapping, all right? So I'll also give you a view of the category list when I'm gonna show you how to use the category mapping. Now, uh, the delivery date is basically if the product is in stock or not. If the product is available right now, which means if someone orders, you can start processing the order right now, then use the value zero. Now, if the product is not in stock, then you can choose the number of days uh, you will take to get the product in stock after order, all right? So uh, basically, it's straightforward. If the product is in stock, use the value zero. If it's not in stock, just use the number of days it will take to put the product in stock after order, all right? Uh, it's better if you do not submit any products that are only available on request, uh, which means anyone who orders a product that is not in stock, you need to be sure that yeah, that product uh, can be brought in stock uh, right away when someone orders it, all right? It cannot be a product where uh, 
uh, you will try to get it from them and they'll later say no uh, it's not available all right so just make sure you have the products and uh, you just be able to ship it out at the right time all right uh, then comes the item group id this is mainly for the variable products so if you have variable products all the variants should have a common item group id so that uh, you can indicate that these are all variants of the same product all right so these are all the mandatory attributes of eureka but there are other optional attributes that you can include to enhance the feed further all right so you can check those out once you read this guide later on all right so now let me move on to generating the product feed for eureka so as you can see i'm on my dashboard and i already have product feed manager for woocommerce installed and activated so once you do that you'll have this plugin menu uh, called product feed in the dashboard menus so initially you need to enable Hureka as the merchant type so just click on settings and go to the merchants tab and here look for Hureka you can use command F or control F depending on your uh, depending on what you're using Mac or PC uh, then look for Hureka okay once you find it enable this by clicking over here and once this is enabled now go to the controls tab and click on purge cache and once you do that you're now ready to generate a feed uh, for Hureka so click on add new feed and this will open a blank feed generation page and right here write a name to this feed so I'll just write Hureka feed and now comes the product uh, information so if you want to include all product data you just leave as it is but if you want to exclude certain products or if you want to use certain filter options to choose your products just click over here and you'll find the filter options here the refresh interval is so that if you make any changes to your store and you want that uh, to be updated on your feed on fixed intervals then you can assign a refresh interval and the rest of the options are already configured so you don't need to make any change to that you can just leave them as is then scroll down to the feed configuration section so here you can see of the option for merchant type so click on this and you'll find Eureka on the list just choose Eureka and below you'll see certain attributes has loaded if you scroll down you'll see these are basically uh, all the required attributes that I just showed you for Hureka. So this is the Hureka template that is already available in our plugin uh, product feed manager for WooCommerce. So here you can see most of the attributes are already configured. All you need to do is configure this two, which is the manufacturer and the category text. All right. The rest of them will already be configured. So you don't need to worry about that or you can make changes to them if you have some exceptions. Okay. Now for the manufacturer, if you are the manufacturer yourself, you can change this to static and use your company name as the manufacturer. Okay. But if you are selling uh, products from different brands, in that case, you need to assign the brand in a custom field or attributes for your products and then use those value here uh, as the value for manufacturer. In that case, you need to choose the type as attribute and then search for the field name in the value. All right. Now, WooCommerce by default does not have a field for brand for your products. In that case, what we did was in our plugin, you'll find an option to enable uh, custom fields for the brands where you can save the brand name and then use that field here as well. Right. So for now, I'm just going to use a static value of my company. Right. So initially, what you can do is do not assign a value to the category text. Just leave it as it is. Scroll up and publish the feed. And once you publish, you'll see that you'll have the uh, load, loading bar that says how much is generated. And once the feed is generated, you'll see you have the option to view and download the feed. Now, before you do that, let's just go ahead and set up the category mapping. All right. So just click on category mapping. And it will take you to this page where you'll see that all the categories in your store are listed in one place. All right. Now, as I told you, Eureka has their own set of category lists that you need to submit. So what you need to do is you need to find out matching categories for your store's categories within Eureka's category list and then copy and paste them over here. Let me just show you how. Let me just open uh, the category list for Eureka. And once I open that, you'll see all the categories are listed here 
and on the right side there is this column called category full name so what you need is the category full name right so let's say you're searching for a matching category for arts and crafts and let's say this one uh, means arts and crafts. i'm just going hypothetically all right just to show you all right so what you do is you copy this category go to the category mapping and paste it in the field beside it all right so just like this you look for matching categories for all the categories in your store copy that category uh, full name and paste it on the field beside the categories right and once you're done assigning the categories for all the categories in your store just name it so i'll just name it Hureka categories and then scroll down and click on save and once this is saved, if you scroll up again, you'll see it's saved right here. If you click on this, this will expand. You can make changes to it anytime you want and then update it again, all right? So now that you have set a category mapping, it's time to assign this to the category text for the feed you just created. So just go to all product feeds. And here, look for the feed you created, which was Hureka feed. Just edit it. And once you edit this, you'll see that this was the feed I created earlier and the category text is still empty. All right, so before I assign a value to this, uh, what I should do is I need to purge cache. All right, so do that. Now, once the purge cache is complete, just scroll down and for the category text in uh, the value field, just click on this and scroll to the very bottom. And there you can see you have the option Hureka categories that I just created, all right? so. When you create a category map, uh, you'll find it uh, under this category map section, all right? So once you select this, now this is assigned. And if I update this, this feed will be updated with the category text uh, using category mapping, all right? So now that the feed is generated, I can view the feed and you'll see that all the product data has been included with the required product attributes, okay? So now you'll notice that the category text is empty for most of the products because I only use category mapping for one of my categories right there, right? For arts and crafts. So I do have one product under arts and crafts. Let me just show that to you. Uh, it's called lotion. And now for lotion, you can see the category text does have the category over here. That's because I assigned category mapping for that category, all right? So if you assign categories from uh, Hureka's category list uh, in the category mapping uh, menu for all your e-commerce categories, then all the products will have the right category paths over there, all right? So that's how simple it is to generate a product feed for Hureka, all right? So go ahead and uh, read through that guide that I'm going to add in the link if you uh, to improve this feed further with some additional attributes. Or you can just take the default uh, feed and submit it to Hureka and you should be accepted properly. All right. So that's how simple it is to generate a Hureka uh, product feed. All right. So you can go ahead and read the guide uh, that we created for Hureka so that you know there are other extra attributes that you might want to add to the feed uh, to make it more optimized. All right. Uh, but if you just submit the feed with this default uh, product attributes that is required by Hureka, then your products should be accepted as long as you have used the right product name format and assigned the correct category uh, text. All right. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any issues, you can always knock our support team and we'll try to assist you. So thanks again for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.